Okay, hi. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, there are only 15 people now. So I would like to wait for a minute or so. Sixteen now. Where are others? Why they are not joining? How many people generally join? So this one is this one only for the Arna batch? Then about twenty-five ish, I'm guessing. I don't. Know. Okay. People are joining. Let them join. Okay, uh, let's do one thing. Mm. Let's uh... start with the quiz so uh, uh, if you look at the quiz for different questions different time time frame has been set up uh, for few questions i have given three minutes also now there may be few students who will solve it fast but i'm least worried about them because um, what i feel is that each student should have enough opportunity to give the answer correct so I'm not looking at the time frame uh, from the uh, from the perspective of time frame today. I'm looking from the ac accuracy perspective today. So what happens now is that we will start solving the quiz. I have 21 people joining now, and I think it's more than enough time to wait for anyone. So let's start the quiz now. Can you all see the screen? So so you uh, remove the fastest finger first. No, 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 I've not removed it. If you do it fast, you'll get uh, more marks. But more than that, uh, why I have given more time? Because uh, there, are, there may be people who take a little bit more time to solve questions. So even if they are suffering uh, on the marks perspective from the point of view of time, if they get it accurate, that would be good for them. So join the quiz, please. Let me just stop this irritating sound. Um, irritating sound. Mm, I'm also posting the link in the chat box. You can join from there. It's been posted. There are only three um, registrations till now. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
15. 15. 16. 17. done Okay, um, I don't think people are going to join. There are 19, now I'm starting the quiz. Let's start this quiz. First question is here. Uh, this is 12 ohm, this is six ohms, this is 15 ohm, this is 150 volt. 150, 12, this is not 120, this is 12 ohm. This is six ohm, this is 15 ohm. I have only seven people who have answered this question. Till now, I mean, eight. And you still have 45 seconds, which is more than enough time. Okay, so time is up. All 19 of you have given me the answer. And uh, nine of you got it right and 10 of you got it wrong. I don't understand the reason why this is happening. If you have to find out how voltage, so which connection is this? Can can anyone participate with me? Series. In series, con uh, in series connection, what gets divided? Potential difference. Potential difference. So current is common. V is equal to I R. Then so V would be proportional to R. So V1, V2, V3. There, there are three uh, registers here. Would be in ratio R1 is to R2 is to R3, which is 12 is to 6 is to 15, which gives me 4 is to 2 is to 5 and V1 plus V2 plus V3 total will be equal to this voltage difference 150. So 4K plus 2K plus 5K is equal to 150. So 11K is equal to 150 or K is equal to 150 by 11. 
So 2K would be equal to 300 by 11, 115 to 2. So that goes 2 times 80, it goes 7 times, then 3, 2, so 27.24 is the answer. This is one way to solve the question. The second way to solve the question is find out the current through this. So 150 divided by total current register resistance is 12 plus 6 plus 15. How much it comes? 12 plus 6 plus 15. 33. Sorry, 33. So current through the circuit is 150 divided by 33. And I have how much uh, resistance here? 6. So V is equal to IR. So potential difference across this would be current 150 by 33 into 6. So how much this is? This is 2. And this is 11. So again 300 by 11. 300 by 11 is equal to 27.24. Any method you can apply. Is it okay? This one is a smaller. Enough time I have given for this question. I've got 13 answers till now. Okay, the time is up. I got 20 answers. Fifteen of you got it right. Very good. The answer here is, uh, if a current comes from here, please understand how we have to find out. If a current comes from here, A and B apply a, uh, I mean, um, con connect a battery here. So current I comes here, it has three choices i1 here i2 here and i3 in this so the current i1 will pass through this i2 here and i3 here and so this 3 and 2 are in series because same current i1 is passing so 3 plus 2 5 so between a and b in the upper circuit 3 plus 2 becomes how much 5 ohms why because this is 30 ohms so i don't need to worry there are only um, there is only one uh, resistor and here 6 and 4 are in series. So this is 30 ohm. This is 10 ohm. And this is A and this is B. So the all three resistors are between two points A and B. It means that they are in parallel. So 1 by R A B would be equal to 1 by 5 plus 1 by 30 plus 1 by 10. And this is 30, so this gives me 6 plus 1 plus 3, which is 10 by 30, which is 1 by 3. So RAB is equal to 3 volts.
Is it okay? Did you understand this? So good. We have solved two questions. The third question is on your screen now. But I'm happy 10 of you got it right. In this question, I have given only one minute because the question is easy. The wire The wire is resistance free. Okay, the time is up. Only 16 could answer this question, but please let me check how many of you got it right. So only five could get it right. Please understand here that this is known. I have taught this in the class. This is known as shunting. Shunting means making potential difference zero across any electrical equipment. Write down again this concept. Any electrical equipment. Is it okay? So how does it happen? So you have a register here. And once you join a line, sorry, once you join a wire across it, this wire is considered to be of very less resistance. So most of the current will go through here through the least resistance and it will not pass here. So the potential difference across this 60 ohm would be equal to how much? Zero. Do you understand? So this, this process of connecting a wire across an electrical equipment is known as what? Shunting. How many of you understood it? Tell me. Yes, sir. Okay, why so many such less number of people have answered this? Only seven people. Calculate the current across 20 ohm registers. You tell me what is the voltage across 20 ohm registers? What is the voltage across these two points? These registers are in which combination? Tell me. Anyone, otherwise I'll take names. These are parallel. Parallel combination, Prajwal. So in parallel combination, what remains co common across all the registers or all the equipment? So the potential difference. The potential difference. So what is the potential difference here? 
200 volts. So if potential difference is 200 volt, will it be common across all the resistors? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, V is equal to I R or I is equal to V by R, which is 200 divided by how much? 20. 20. Which gives you how much? 10. That is the answer. What was so big in it? Done? Yes, sir. Left out. I will let others solve it. Okay, still 42 seconds left out and eight people have not answered. Okay, I have the leaderboard in front of me and Samay is leading now along with Prajwal. Um, 12 of you got it right, which is again a good result. Total current, for total current, I need to find out total resistance. So 1 plus 2 is how much? 3. So this 3 ohms would be in parallel with these 3 ohms. So 3 plus 3 will become 1.5, yes or no? Because 3 ohms in parallel would be 3 into 3 divided by 3 plus 3. So 9 by 6 is 1.5. So it means that this total combination from here to here is 1.5. So this register is 1.5 ohms. Add these particular things. So 5 plus 4 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 and a half. So 120 divided by 10 and a half. See how I eliminate answers. 120 divided by 10 would be equal to 12. So anything greater than 10, the answer would be less than 12. Less than 12, there is only one answer, 11.42 amperes. Hence, the answer is 11.42 amperes. So, but once you get the 1.5 there, you, can, you know it can't be a whole number, right? So you just find the only decimal option. Okay. 
this. Okay. Uh, are these two are these two registers in parallel, twelve ohm and x ohm? Yes, sir. So along this x ohm register, along this x ohm registers, what is the voltage? The voltage would be one thirty five volts. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So V is equal to I R. I has been given as five ohms. So 135 is equal to 5 into x, or x is equal to 135 by 5, which gives me how much? 27. 27. Answer is what? Done. Okay. Eight of you got it wrong. Why? When a current comes here, it's the same question. It goes here. It goes here. So three plus two is five. And this particular, let's say this point is P and this point is Q. So between P and Q, there are two branches. One branch is of three plus two five. So this becomes between P plus Q. This becomes five ohms. 
and this again becomes 5 points. So 5, 5 into 5 divided by 5 plus 5 is equal to 25 by 10 which is equal to 2 and a half ohms. So this is 2 and a half ohms and this is 1 and a half ohms which is equal to 4 ohms. Is it okay? Because this will, the current which will come from this circuit will pass through this. So 2 and a half plus 1 and a half is 4. And when 4 and 4 are in parallel because between this P and B, this is the one circuit and this total is between P and B. So 4 into 4 divided by 4 plus 4, 16 by 8 which is 2. The answer is 2. Solve the next question. Okay. Very good. I have 11, only 16 answers, but 11 of you are correct. Very simple. When a, when a current comes here, it has two, two ways to go, this way. So if I1 goes here, this I1 will go through this, go through this and come here. Is it okay? And if I2 goes here, this will go through this and this will come here. It means that this 10 and 20 are in series. So 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 ohms. And this 5 plus 15 is equal to how much? 20 ohms. And these two, this 20 and this 30, they are in parallel because they are, un they are between two same points. So 30 into 20 R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 is equal to 600 divided by 50 which gives me 12 ohms. So answer is how much? 12 ohms. Same kind of question given different way you are unable to solve. Very good, 18 of you got it correct. So total resistance in series, you could, you can take three of them. So one, two, three, because you add them up, uh, the total would be greater than all three of them because you are adding them up. So it has to be series. In parallel, it will be lesser than the least. Is it okay? So I have discussed these things in the class.
Okay, let me check. Oh, the parallel is correct here. Series is wrong. Yes, sir. That's yes. what I was thinking. But why is it series given in this when I have given the answer as parallel? Misclick. Can it be corrected now? I don't think no, it's sir. Not. It's too late. Leave it. Leave it. It is parallel is the answer. Leave it. I will get it changed. All this, this is not Okay, we finished up pretty early. I could have given more number of questions. Okay, 10 of you got it right, 11 of you got it wrong. So you look at here, when it is saying that, please understand, when it is saying that same material, same length, same diameter, it means that resistance is same. R is equal to rho L by A and which comes out to be rho L by pi R square. This is same, this is same, this is same, hence R is same of both the materials. But the problem is one is connected in series. So the, when they are connected in series, the total resistance would be equal to 2R. So H would be equal to I square RT. Yes or no? Tell me. Or R1 yes, right. So how much would be H? I square into 2R into T. 
this will be h1 and h2 when they are in parallel how much it will be r and r so that will become how much r by 2 i square r by 2 into t so how much should be the answer sir i will differ sir according to the resistance they should be so to calculate r in sir shouldn't we calculate r separately for different cases sir it won't be the r, same we should calculate r for different cases or i for different cases sir i have marked 4 is to 1 but it's telling i got it wrong yes, yes it has to be 1 is to 4 yes sir Why? because sir because the i will be different in each case sir yes. you understand here you understand here let's say this is the battery is it okay so a resistance of 2r is here fine and this voltage is v so i would be equal to v by 2r is it yes. okay so i will become v square by 4r square i square sorry so now h1 heat would be equal to i square which is v square by 4r square Into resistance 2R multiplied by T. So how much this gives you? This gives you 2, and this gives you R. So H1 is equal to V square T divided by 2R. And when they are in parallel, let me just remove this. No one told except one person that I would be different. And that's why 4 is to 1 and 1 is to 4. Both answers have been given. So when they are in parallel, so that equivalent resistance is r by 2 so if a battery of v is connected so i would be equal to v divided by r by 2 which is 2 v by r so h2 is equal to um let's say this is i2 and this is i1 is it okay so i2 square into r by 2 into t so how much this is i2 is 4 v square divided by r square into r by 2 into t. So um, how much it gives you? This and this one. This gives me h2 is equal to 2 v square t divided by r. Now I have to find out h1 by h2. So h1 is equal to v square. T divided by 2r and divide it is with 2v square t by r. So when you divide it to make it reciprocal, it will convert into um, uh, multiplication. So this is v square t 2r multiplied by r divided by 2v square t. So v square t v square t one r r one. It gives me one divided by two into t. So one by four, or it is equal to one is to four. How many of you understood this? Understood, sir. Understood, sir. Okay. All of you understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. So that is why this question was yesterday. I told you that I will solve this question later. So that is why I solve this question now. Fine. So let me just have a look. How many of you got it right? Okay. Okay. So, what happened? We'll download the results, and I'll take attendance. Just wait. Sir, for the tenth question, which was marked wrong, sir, will you like uh, change the thing once we download it? 
yes, I, but it will not affect your uh, this thing, the ranking. Okay, sir. Fine. Okay. Am I sharing the screen? Just give me a moment. Stop sharing. My library. Give me a moment. Okay, um, what is to be done? Your attendance needs to be taken. Just wait a second. Adya S is is she there? Not there. Adya M is there. Present sir. Abhiram. Present sir. Achyut. Present sir. Achyut is there. Aditya. Aditya is not there. Uh, Akshay Shri. Akshay Shri was there. Akshay Shri answered in the chat. Okay. Anand, Daksh, Devank, Present, sir. Driti, Present, sir. Dhruv, Present, sir. Hari Keshav, Present, sir. Harshit, Present, sir. Jatin, Jatin, Jatin is not there. Matri, Present, Matri. sir. Uh, Matri is there. Karthik. Karthik is not there. Namish is here. Um, Namish Ayangar. Yes, sir. Present, sir. Okay. Um, Naunit Sai is here. Uh, Nishchal. Present, sir. Prajwal is here. Pratap. Present, sir. Okay, after that, we go. Pratham is here. Ridhya. Present, sir. Sir, I'm done. Uh, Ridhya. Not there. Rishi. Rishi is not there. Samanjay. Present, sir. Samay. Present, sir. Shashwat. Shriya Srinivasan. Shriya. Sir, can I leave? Okay. Siddharth. Just wait a second. Siddharth, not there. Sujay, Sujay is not there. Sumedh Rao is not there. Tanmay, present, sir. Tejal, present, Yati. sir. Yati, Yati was there. Okay, sure. You can leave now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye -bye. Sir, why should only RNR batch was attending this center mark? Um, we have decided that uh, because uh, CBSC regular and CBAT, CBSC autonomous are doing different things. So having same um, having same uh, Centamar was uh, creating uh, problems for the students. Oh, okay, sir. It is. It is. It is because of that. Fine, Shalo. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.